Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Ramin Ahmadi. I'm uh, a senior SharePoint developer at Content and Code, and today I'm going to show you how you can use React Material UI components in SharePoint Framework. Um, as you know, uh, uh, before SharePoint Framework 2.8, uh, it wasn't possible to use uh, React Material UI because it's, uh, it's um, requires the minimum version of TypeScript 2.8, and now uh, in favor of SharePoint Framework uh, 1.8, we can use TypeScript 2.8 and above, and also it supports uh, Node 10 that is really cool that we can uh, have more features to use uh, as a developer. And uh, for using Material UI, uh, first we need to update the human generator to use SharePoint Framework uh, 1.8, and also uh, install TypeScript compiler that should be 2.8 and above and if you're using SharePoint Framework uh, 1.8.2 you don't need to be worried about that because it's uh, set to TypeScript 2.9 as default and after that you need to install material UI components that you need and also the types for the TypeScript and then you can uh, import and use the components. So uh, let's jump to the uh, Web part. So here's really a basic, uh, basic web part to uh, show you how you can use the uh, material components. I use uh, some of the components like text field, uh, uh, icon, and the table component that has uh, pagination uh, functionality that uh, I, I really wish that I uh, we could have it in uh, Fabric UI and also um, the dialog component. Uh, that you can see here, and also I uh, use one of the um, RxJS operator called debounce time. Uh, basically, this operator is popular in scenarios uh, such as uh, type ahead where the rate of uh, user input must be controlled. For example, uh, if I start uh, typing, it uh, it waits for three milliseconds before it uh, send a query to the server to get the data. Uh, as you can see here, uh, and if I want to show you the code, uh, so here are the packages that are used for this uh, web part. So I added material UI component libraries from uh, like like here, and also PMPJS for uh, getting the data from uh, SharePoint, and also I installed RxJS to use uh, a debounce time operator. Uh, for those who don't know about the RxJS, it's uh, for reactive programming. That's uh, if you are interested in uh, reactive programming, you can um, basically. I, I recommend you uh, reading this uh, uh, article that is really uh, uh, cool about uh, reactive programming and how you can use it in your code. Um, and also about the components, uh, I have uh, details uh, dialog component, pagination, and also uh, the table component that is uh, coming from uh, here. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have the table component uh, with all the headers and also uh, the content, and also I use the PMPJS to get the data from uh, SharePoint. And here I set up the RxJS debounce time. So I give it three milliseconds. Uh, so when you start typing, it just uh, waits for uh, some amount of time so you, you're, uh, to make sure that you're uh, done with typing and uh, send a uh, query to the server to get the data. Uh, and I think. Yeah, here's a, it's just a simple sample to uh, show you how you can use material UI components. And as you, uh, you've seen, that uh, Ijaz also used uh, some of the components from material UI in his demo previously. So uh, that's it for me. Thank you very much. Awesome. But another great demo, so thank you uh, very, very much for that.